Oh, what a gorgeous Friday. Well, that side is done and that patch got covered. Yeah, somebody stopped by and bring me some aluminium. Probably worth 10 bucks. And this side's done. I just finished painting it this morning about 8 o'clock when there's no wind. There's like a tunnel in here. You can see a fog. I tried yesterday, but you can see a fog of overspray and hot. Nah, that ain't good. So, yeah, looks pretty nice. Now I just got to do the back yet. This wall is never meant to be permanent. These are two sliding doors, you know. You turn them sideways, you can see the handle for a tin shed. I want to put complete from that down. So, yeah. I have more stuff. Where did I put it all? See, it's all hidden in here. That is roofing steel. That's the way it goes like this. I don't know if I can incorporate it into that wall or not. We need some J channel up top you know, to tuck it in. Okay. It's still going to vent. You can see inside the building. It's always going to vent, but I'm keeping the critters out. See? I can barely get my fingers in there. But this is never meant to be sealed tight, tight, tight. That's what it looks like on the inside. Maybe throw some paint on the inside too, blend it all in, but see that back wall there. And then the top of this one, yet. Yeah. It's just plastic I got up there for now with duct tape, just covering it up. It's plastic cardboard. No. And then maybe I'll paint that wall too. I was debating whether or not to put a window in there yet. Let's in more light. Hot barbecue chicken. Oh look, I got more magnets. I got so many. And then I took the tarp down on both sides. I gained about another hundred magnets. Because I was using the magnets to hold the tarp a little bit. So I have some stuff where I can actually probably seal that all up if I really want to. I'm not sure. And then realizing moving some stuff around here. See that? Because we're flooded. It's all particle board. I think it's all no good. I don't know what I was going to do with it anyways. There's a whole bunch of it here. I got it for nothing. Came from a, a cabinet shop. So, yeah. Almost looks like glass. It's plastic. So anyways, it's looking that much better already, right? I think so. Just got all my grass cut finally. It was a dust storm way over there because of the flood we had. It brought all the dirt and everything and then everything just laid on top. They were calling for rain a couple days ago, but I was hoping it was going to rain. Look at that, wind shifted again. It was the other way, south. Now it's north. Yeah, well, my dryer still works. <laughs> but anyways, I got her all done. She's good for another couple days. That old girl just keeps putting along. The only maintenance I had to do to this thing. I don't know if you remember or not. A few years back, I can't lift the hood. That thing right there, that's the oil drain. It snapped off. It's aluminum. How do you get it out of the block? snap flush. I thought I had to buy a new motor. I don't know if you guys remember, if you go back in videos that I had on YouTube a few years back, four or five years, got one of them square things you pound it in and then you put a wrench on it and we got it out so I was able to put a new one on. That's the only issue I've had with that and that thing I bought in 2009 and it was already a year old when I bought it. Like, it was in the store. They pushed it around from the old store to the new store. That was Canadian Tire. 
Yeah, a Tecumseh engine in it. That's why I wanted it. Otherwise, they're normally Briggs and Stratton, or nowadays it's that more power, whatever that is. But I like Tecumseh. Never have an issue with it. It starts all the time, as long as the battery's charged. And it's got an electric fuel pump, or electric ignition, not fuel pump. So, and there's a the little battery. Yeah, I think about five batteries so far on that thing. That one's a couple of years old. So, but yeah, I bought that in 2009. So, the same year I quit smoking. So, hey, yeah. maybe that's why it's still going. I take care of it. I try to. I never leave it out in the weather. So, and that old girl too. One of these days I got to get this out of the way so I can take her out and let her stretch her legs and take her up and down the road someday so i did get it running last year the year before i don't remember now but i did fix it put the new uh rods push rods in it and tappets so she did run because you heard it anyways getting off topic that's what i wanted to show you i like that color it's called a meadow green. It's an awesome color. Meadow green. It's paint and primer combined. No wonder why. And it dries quick. Like it's quick drying paint. I paint my truck that color too, but then you gotta change the ownership because you change the paint color of your truck. That's how they get you. They give you a big ass fine for that. <laughs> the box used to be green, remember? Here it is there. That's the original. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I won't promote the body shop I went to. It took a month to do the little bit of work they had to do. And uh, they didn't do the greatest job, so. I will not promote them. Anybody looks for a body shop? I don't know. Where'd you go? I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. You gotta clean that up, get that stuff back organized again. I wanna get rid of this fridge. I wanna put a freezer here instead. It's neater and takes up less room. But I got, that'd be a lot of work to unload this. And then this thing sweats pretty good. And the fridge doesn't seal like a freezer does. Yeah, there's a few thousand pounds in there. What's in this one? Look, more hydro cords. Yeah, it's sweating in here too. Almost need to drill holes through it and put vents in it. It's not breathing. I just leave it open for a while. That's just some of them. Oh, I got another ant. Man, oh man, I just touched that tree. There he is. He fell. I just touched that tree, you know, and they fall right on you. That tree is covered in ants. And a whole bunch on me yesterday when we were doing the steel. See, there's a freezer. There's one back there. There's one here. There's barrels full of motors. Yeah, I got a lot of work to do yet. What's in there? Transformers and stainless steel hoses. You know, the braided hoses that have to be cleaned up. Buckets of plugs. Back there's all motors. Motor, 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 motor. And back in behind is motors. See? The motors. Those are all copper. That's why they're in there. Yeah. Can't forget Old Faithful. There's a building around the back here that has motors in it too. I can't get into it. Yeah, this is an empty one. There's two empty ones over here I can use. That one that's leaning. That one's full of motors too. And it's locked shut but can't get in there because... <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Still think the wall looks good. <laughs> Long-winded. You know what? I think I might go for a bike ride this afternoon. I'm sold out of fire pits, except this one. 
I have no fire pits left except that guy. Some people do like them. Old truck rim. It's been used. Wow. One company hauling another company's bins. That's different. They don't normally do that. <laughs> I wonder what's going on. The, comp the one company, I'm not going to mention which one, but they got bought out by a, a bigger conglomerate. So, yeah. Anyways, long winded. Two walls are done. Whew, what a chore. It'll be a lot drier, like less snow in there this winter and everything like that. So, less critters. Little buggers are getting in there. The squirrels are destroying stuff. And, whatever else because I have a bit of an attic see and they were housing up there stuff to oh I got another screen up there yet jeez last fire pit I sold I sold one of them too with it so but uh yeah you don't move stuff for a while you know animals think they can make a home out of it and then they do so anyways here we go Mavis is in the house. We just had lunch, so it's Friday, about 1.30. She's napping on the couch. She loves her couch. Yeah, going on 2 o'clock, so. I don't know, maybe I'll go in the house, take a shower, and go for a bike ride. And that's sure about driving the little mini bike, because the batteries are on recall. So the batteries are sitting on my stainless steel topped workbench apart from each other. And I don't think there's anything wrong with the batteries, but the company themselves, when I reached out to them, told them what I had, and they said, send the labels. And they said, yep, your batteries are on recall. And it just makes you kind of wonder, are they really? Because why wouldn't they have gotten in touch with me? They all have receipts of where they sold their crap, right? But they're sending me brand new batteries free of charge. And I'm told to put the other batteries in water. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Have a nice day.